is like the best friend chasing some dude that's there, but you know, always you, chasing dudes. Always chasing dudes. Like the Bechdel, we want real women who are real, who have, who look real, who act real, who can be bitches sometimes, but who can be amazing other times, who learn from their mistakes, who are fallible, who have faults. We want anti-hero women, we want, we want hero women, we want antagonist women, we want women who do everything, that are diverse like all of us sitting up here. That's what we want, that's what we're working on. Sorry, I'm on the soapbox, I just get really annoyed. Well, I think that what you're talking about is the culture of film and television making currently anyways. The male or female characters, we're seeing the anti-hero, we're seeing the faults of, of these characters, and we're loving them despite that. And I would, we touched on this yesterday, so any of you who are in the panel, forgive me, I'm going to repeat this, but um, to me, if we want to see more empowerment in women and see more stronger female roles, we need to support them. We need to embrace and love and encourage each other. And like you were mentioning, you know, not compare ourselves to each other. You know, we've got this huge, be supportive, we've got this huge, like, pandemic of bullying in our school system, yet we're the biggest bullies. I mean, have you ever read the tabloids? You, you go there and, you know, one cover says so-and-so has the best beach body, and the other one says, yeah, she's the worst beach body, and it's the same day. <laughs> You're like, you just got her at a different angle. So I think that we have to sort of support that, be encouraged, be encouraging to others that are creating. You know, I totally agree. Uh, just adding to that, I've literally just done the ladies' room with um, Jackie and Devon. No, oh, it was so much fun. I'm so glad I did it. But yeah, there were a whole bunch of these issues brought up, and it's right. I honestly do think that a lot of it has to do with the fact that women are so harsh on other women, especially in this industry. There's just so much competition, so much rejection. It's like Mary King said. I mean, you're going to a room. You might not necessarily look. Oh no, actually. Like you all look identical. It pretty much comes down to the fact of if they really do like the way you look, and then it's a plus. If oh yeah, and then she can actually say her lines, and that's fine. And okay, yeah, so we'll give her the job. Or if she's not taller than the guy. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. <laughs> too tall. Yeah, no, I think it's about being supportive with each other and supporting women as a whole. I think that's really important. But again, I think it goes across the board. I think it's socially what we're dealing with now too, because it's not just in this industry. I mean, my, my joke I have is if you want to know what it's like to be famous, just be a mom. Everyone thinks they can do it better, and they have no one to probably telling you that. <laughs> oh my God. So it is across the board. I think that there's, you know, just, we need to really just support each other. And that doesn't mean we can't be critical. I think we can be crit critical, but uplifting as well. All this said, I do think, um it is an exciting time to be a woman and to be in this industry with shows like Orange is the New Black, which is... I love that show and the diversity on it. And, and that was what was really cool about being on the Lizzie Bennett Diaries, was that was a show about girls. And it was starring mostly girls. And for the first six months, it almost was. And it's this famous love story that we somehow managed to not see the man until halfway through, you know? And, and not that we don't... Do Need that, but you know, it's really cool to be able to um, have that support and have these stories about women, not just for women, for everybody, you know, because everybody can appreciate these stories because we're all people. And, um, and I'm really excited that, that these things are starting to happen, and, and I hope that it can continue on the web, on TV, on, on in movies, and everything. Yeah, yeah, I'll say it's the same as Falling Skies for me working on the show in the fourth season. I feel so grateful to be a part of a cast that is full of strong women. They're like them in real life, but their characters on TV are so strong. They're flying aliens, they have guns. Uh, my character, she has powers and she blows stuff out of the sky. I mean, it's totally not from a sexual point of view, but even if it was, that doesn't matter. I'm just saying it's nice to see something different that, you know, she, you know she's not just there to look pretty. She's, you know, she has a lot of strength and she can do what her, what, I mean, her husband can do or her boyfriend, and if anything, she can do it better, which I think is quite cool.